This is Craps Chi back at you. If I'm playing Craps, I'm Bakra slash Craps. Because Craps is what I play at brick and casinos. This is my don't pass system. Okay? So what we do is we're going to play both sides, right? We play the don't and the pass line. Now, a lot of people say, oh, this is a bad way to play. Well, I've learned that um, we don't have thousands of hours to play the casino. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's a bad way to play <clears throat> if you're playing for thousands of hours. Hey, you're going to play for three or four hours max, okay? So you want to cover it because you could get a shooter that's super lucky and it keeps hitting sevens or elevens and you keep losing your pass line bet. So I like you. In fact, I know it's a good bet because I had one casino actually tell me I couldn't do this. So we're going to de we're going to deal a bear this uh, the bets and then take full odds. Okay, on the don't come. What's don't come mean? It means the point won't won't happen. That's a six. So we're going to take full time odds on the six. Looking for a seven is what we want. It lost, so we now we're going to double this. Because we're dealer bearing. And we're going to take full odds. Seven down. And we're even. See if we can't make a couple hundred bucks. Now we're going to take full odds. We're going to double. We're going to deal a bear. Add one ship. And then we take. And we got 60 bucks riding right on the max bet. We could throw a fight our chip here just to kind of hedge a little bit. Whoops, that's not the one I want. The eight. A little bit of a hedge. We want it. Oh, we're up 15 bucks. Take a bit back down. See if we didn't play that, that seven would have took our don't pass. Now we lost, we lost. Whenever I lose that, I don't freak out if I'm in the lead. No, once in a while, twelves are gonna come. You just that's cost of doing business when you play this way. But look at those elevens. We would have lost. Don't pass twice. Then we would have lost again on the seven. Twelves just don't come up that often. That's twenty five dollars. We could hedge the hard way. Couple bucks. Oh, we lost on the uh, the soft way. D lip air, we're gonna add a chip and then take full odds. Just one. Oh, we're twenty five dollars up. Take full odds. Can't hedge anything there. We can take that later on. We'll take that later. Okay, so let's go back down. Take our full odds. It's 15 bucks. Let's hedge the hard way. What do we got? We got $30 there. And that'll cover our hard. So we can only lose two ways. Um, five and a three, well, four ways, actually. We're taking one of the ways away out. Ah, we won the soft way. <laughs> we lost the soft way. So we go up, and then we take, ooh, we lost that. If I had hedged it, we'll take our full odds here. We can throw a few chips over here to, what is it? 
We're at uh, 60. You don't want to go too crazy with his hedges. Ah, let's let go this time. Let's see what happens. The hedges will eat you up after a while. Ah, we lucked out. Okay. So we're up. Oh, oops. Again, dealer bear, we take the full pop here. We hit it, and we're at 55, we're back down. What's, like, what's nice about craps is this bet right here has absolutely no there's no edge on the house. It's true odds. Dang it. That's a bummer. Oh, we lost that. So we're going to go up a little bit further because we lost our... We hit the 12. Take full odds. You got to be a little bit daring. Gotta go up again. Take our maximum odds. Ooh, we we're in trouble. Take a maximum odds here. So way you can do it. Back down to 25, 25. Oh boy. We need that seven. <laughs> we didn't get it. <laughs> oh lordy. Okay, I think we gotta go to thirty-five. We're at thirty-five. Forty. We lost that, so now we're gonna go to lost that twelve, so I'm gonna bang it big. And see if we hit this one. We did. And we can take our bets back down a little calmer. Seven out. We're ahead. Just calm the game way down. So we can't kill her in 200 bucks. Seven's going to come up more. Than any other number. Hasn't been the best session, but I show them all. <clears throat> but it got dicey when I was playing. <clears throat> dicey, right? Craps dice. This is just a way to play. <clears throat> it's not a bad way to play. I don't cherry pick videos and just show when it goes absolutely smooth. Because it doesn't usually do that. The whole idea about dealer bearing is <clears throat> is it'll work if you win a little more and you lose. And seven comes up more often than any other number. 
and we're laying true odds. So it's a very, um, how can I say, the house advantage is very small. Lost that one, gotta go up, D the bear, take the full odds, because if you don't, you won't get paid properly. See that? Gotta play true odds. The hedges will eat you up. Stay away from that. I know it's tempting, but see, we just lost on the we just lost on the, um, I gotta go up. Got talking, forgot where it's at. I think we're gonna go here. In a way, they'll eat you up. So you gotta take the full odds to get the right payoff. We're at 15. Oh, we already hit our goal. And that's another thing too, is you don't need to all you don't you don't need to get race back down to base bet <clears throat> as far as this dealer bearing thing okay so we'll try to get 70 bucks more so what we're doing is replacing a chip here a chip here if we lose we add our chip to this and we always play our true odds <clears throat> you'll have to lay more on the four to get back a decent amount of money you lay less on the six and it, the odds do it themselves. The three, four, five, six, that, that all it does itself. So you just take true odds as much as you can. And now we're at 250. Take the true odds. It's tempting to do that, but I know I've done enough to know even in a short period of time it can wipe you out. <clears throat> Take the true max odds. Now, if we lose, we're going to deal a bear, remember? <clears throat> and we're going to go up a chip here and then play our max odds. If we 12 out, it depends if I'm up or not, how I feel, how my chi is feeling. If I'm going to go up higher or not. And there's our 300 bucks. This is the don't pass system. You play both sides. You max out your odds. And you're hoping to seven rolls. Seven didn't roll. So you go up again. You just go up, add chip and... Time you lose and take a chip down. And then you bang your odds to the max. So when you get back down to base bet, you're even. <clears throat> In this case, we're a little ahead. So you go back down to two because we're at three. And we're laying more odds. See, it's 80 because it's a four. Now we go up three. We are all our odds. And this time, it's, you know, it's only 115 because the four pays differently than the nine. Even though we went up. Try $15. Fifteen. Now we're at twenty. Adding a chip each time. Twenty. 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 Take our full odds. You gotta take the full odds. Back down to fifteen. Take the full odds. We're at 15. 
back up to 20. Take our full odds. We're at 15. Take our full odds. And we're at 20. 20. Now we're at 25. It's gloom and doom, I know. We're at 25. We're at 30. It's gloom and doom. Ooh. Where was that seven when I needed it? Oh. 30. Play max odds. We're at 30 bucks. We're at 25 bucks. Twenty-five bucks. Back up to 30. We shouldn't have to back down a base bet to win. Back up to 30. That's another beauty of this thing. Thirty-five. Oh, I didn't go thirty-five. I messed up. Let's see if we can get some money back. Now we'll go to thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty. Well, where's all my sevens right need them? See if we're hedging this, we get killed. Oh my god. Take max odds, we're at 30 bucks. Thirty-five. Now it looks bad right now. Thirty-five. Back down to thirty. Down to thirty. 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 Wow. Thirty. Can you imagine if we weren't covering both sides? I don't know what's going on with this game today. It's been tough.
we're at 30. Back down to 25, 25, back up to 30. Sooner or later, we, we get, we'll be back down to base bet. Uh, 25 25 back up to 30 oh I forgot to goofed up Goofed up. That should be 30. So we'll keep it at 25 to make up for my boo boo. Thirty-five. Kind of making up for that mistake I made. Now we're back on track. Five. Forty. Forty. So sevens then. We're at twenty. 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 Down to fifteen. Whoops. One, two, three. One, two, three. Down to fifteen. Down to fifteen. Down to ten. Uh, up to 
15. We're at 15. 15. 15. We're at 15. We're at 20 now. No, it doesn't look good. 20. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Back up to thirty again. Back up the mountain. We're at thirty. We're at thirty. We're at thirty. Back down to twenty five. Twenty five. Back down to twenty. We're back down to twenty. Back down to fifteen. We're at fifteen. Fifteen. Back up to twenty. Back up to 20. Back down to 15. We have 15 now. We're back down to 10. Back down to 10. And we're back down to base. Oops. Base bet. Base bet. And we're back to where we well, a little behind. Not bad though. We're trying to go for four hundred. Up to ten. Ten. Back down to base. Making a little bit of progress. Oh, I gotta go up again because I lost that. Lost that uh ooh. Go up again. Two twelves in a row. So we gotta jack that up, and then you're on the roller coaster, baby. Twenty. Twenty. We'll get back down to base bet because as you know, seven comes up more than anything. Twenty. 
20. Oops. 20. 20. We're at 20. I'll get on 15. Whoops. Fifteen. It's playing true odds. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten. True odds. We're at ten. We're now back to base bet, and we're almost at my goal of 400. We're almost there. Oh, fours again. Then we go up to the bear, max the odds. Seven now, and where's our $400 profit? So if you keep playing the don't pass and the pass, and if you lose on your 12, you just go up. You do, you do the bear a little higher because the sevens are going to catch up. You know, there's more ways to make a seven than any other number. So when you're deliberating, in this case, we're deliberating or don't pass and pass bets, right? Well, we know that deliberating is a great way to play only if we have an edge. And the edge here is a seven comes more often than any other number. It got dicey there for a while, hence the name dice. But look at we won 400 bucks. And we were never really that far behind. You just got to believe in the math that sevens will come up more than any other number. So it's, you know, the, the proof is there. I it, it wasn't an easy win, but it wasn't a hard win. But we had to stay with the system. Don't go on tilt. Don't panic. Don't try to play a bunch of catch up. And... You just saw me win $400. Not too bad. You got a deal of bearer, your don't, your pass line, right? And yes, we had some 12s that wiped us out. And I made up for that by adding to the deal of bearing part of it. Because I know the seven is going to come up more often than any other number. So it'll make up for it. Okay. But if you don't hedge this, there's too many sevens and too many elevens. You got to play both sides. Now that's where I'd go up. See, because I did hit twelve, and I take my full odds. Seven comes up more than any other number. Didn't that time? So then we go to fifteen. So I don't just show you the good stuff. I show you what's really going to happen. Then we're going to take our maximum odds. Sixes have a very good chance of winning. Seven slightly more. Now we're ahead. Take this down to ten. Whoops. Take your full odds. We're back down to base bet. Why? And we're ahead money because sevens roll more than any other number.
Almost 500 bucks. Let's see if we can't get 500 bucks. That's a nine. We're at sitting at one ship right now. And bam. Oh, I'm going to be stubborn. I ain't got 500 bucks yet. Got a good chance of losing this one because sixes are hard to beat. Yep, yeah, so we're going to go up. There's a seven I needed. We'd have lost a seven, eleven. All kinds of things we'd have lost. We're at ten. Back down to base bet. Play the odds. Lost it. Go up. Go up. Take our full odds. Seven's the most popular number. And then we hit our goal. We're over 500. And I, didn't, I didn't really have to get back down to base bet to do that. So it's a great system. You just have to believe in the math. You have to just know that seven is going to come more often than any other any other number and you got to play both sides if you get dinged on the 12 don't double your money or chase it too hard just deal the bear one more time up it sets the stage up a little higher okay so this is my don't pass system it's a great system i showed you the good the bad the ugly on this system but as you can see we made a nice profit and just respect the math have a decent bankroll. You know, have at least four or five grand. You don't want to worry about stuff. But the the, the math is gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna win out. And that's what I love about playing this way, because I know even though it gets rough and our bets got high and you know the shooter got hot, sooner or later that, that you can't help it. There's more ways to make a seven than any other number. Okay. Let's do something here. How many ways? Ways to roll a seven in dice. I believe it's six. Oh, twice. <laughs> we'll put in dice or craps. Notice seven stands alone with six ways to roll it. Okay. So it's there's six ways to roll it. Um, there's five ways to roll an eight. There's five rolls to roll six. Then goes down from there, right? So, seven. The notice the number seven stands alone with six ways to roll. Also notice that the first number of each pairing, as we go down the column, decreases by one. I.e., six, five, four, three, and two. And the second number of each pairing, as we go down the column, increases by one. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So. How many ways to roll a seven? As you know, 
Uh, as shown in the table above, there are six ways to roll a seven, five ways to roll a six and eight, four ways to roll a five or nine, three ways to roll a four or a ten, two ways to roll a three or eleven. We don't care about that part of it. But you see, the math is on your side. Math is on your side. You can't argue with math. So the don't come system, to me, mathematically makes sense. And that's why, you know, I just showed you how you can make 500 bucks on a $5 table. Not bad. Okay. This is Crash G signing off.